Yo, what's up guys, it's Dino and today I want to make a short video about how to improve your aim and since I want to keep it short, I'm not going to mention aim training, which is why I'll leave it out for another video, you know, I'll, I'll probably make another video later on, but for now I'll just keep it short on some aspects that you can like improve on instantly, you know, as in like sensitivity, your um, crosshair placements, mouse acceleration and yeah. Okay, so tip number one is please lower your sensitivity if you're one of those people who are capable of like spinning six to like four times or something and most of the times those are the clippers you know those are the people who want to like hit those nasty trick shots those high standard clips but when it comes to normally playing or feeding that sensitivity is gonna hold you back because you're not gonna be accurate with that sense unless you're some type of type of player that barely has like any space on his desktop or is like a really heavy mouse but let's let's say you have a normal mouse you have enough like space on your desk then what's the point of playing a high sense you know why wouldn't you just play a low sense and be consistent with your shots and the next the next thing i want to mention is crosshair placement so you, you see how i'm kind of like walking around the map always aiming around head height kind of like trekking between the doorways because anytime someone could appear in between those doorways you know Someone could just randomly jump, slide, and you gotta be prepared for the gunfights. You always gotta be able to like defend yourself. But when you're aiming like this, like some people, some people aim at the floor. Like you'll have to flick up. You'll have to make it harder for yourself to hit the shot. But when you're already aiming like this and someone jumps in, you'll, you'll be ready. You'll be ready for the guy jumping in front of you. Some, some people also aim like really high, which kind of blocks your vision because of your your gun and your arms you know so that, that, that will basically be way harder for you to hit your shots and yeah the, the, that's basically it for the crosshair placement tip okay guys so tip number four is a really important one and that is um mouse uh mouse acceleration and the thing is that i'm pretty sure it's turned on on default so if you haven't changed any of your mouse settings it should be turned on and for the people who don't know what it is, is um, let's say I'm moving five inches on my mouse pad and I'm moving slow. I'll probably land somewhere right here, you know, and let's say it's on high. I mean, I'm, I'm moving fast and it will probably land somewhere right there, even though even though I'm stopping at the same distance on my mouse pad, like I'm moving the same inches or centimeters, but I'll land somewhere else depending on how fast I move my mouse. But if you have it turned off, you'll like the the, the place your crosshair or your reticle will stop depends on where you stop your mouse. So let's say I'm moving my mouse fast and I'm stopping right there, I'll still stop right there. If I'm moving my mouse slow, I'll still, you know, end on the same spot. Cause it's dependent on how far you move your mouse and not how fast you move your mouse. So basically, it's way more consistent than turning it on, you know, or keeping it on. Because if you keep it on, you'll probably land somewhere right there one day. And you'll land somewhere right there, depending on how fast you move. Instead of like how far you move, which is inconsistent, if you get what I mean. Okay, guys, so the last tip is for the snipers. And it can also be applied for slower fire rate DMRs, but it's kind of different because, you know, you can spam DMRs. But basically, the last tip is that some snipers like to flick or... They like to quick scope when it's not necessary, and a moment when I would think quick scoping or flicking could be necessary is let's say you're not really aiming at someone or you're in a close close quarter like gunfight, then obviously you would have to quick scope or no scope. But let's say someone is all the way across the map, he's looking away, or someone is at a medium range, and you can take your time to hit your headshot, but you're too busy flicking, trying to beat a flashy player, missing your shots, you know. It's just gonna hold you back because you might miss your shot you might hit a body shot and it'll stay alive and will probably shoot back or you'll just keep missing your shots you know and it can also be applied as a tip for you know clippers who want to like learn how to feed it's just take your time hit your headshots and we'll just keep going and obviously i'm not the the one who should tell you to like Take your time to shoot because 
in like some of my videos you'll see me jumping around quick scoping but the only reason i'm doing that is to look flashy for the video you know when i'm normally playing or when i'm just chilling i, I won't like jump all the way around quick scoping doing useless stuff i'll just take my time hit my headshots and that's basically how you hit your feeds you know so take your time take your time to hit your headshots be consistent just practice that over and over and you'll probably see improvement in your aim you know like just just by you already like taking your time to hit your headshots you'll, you'll definitely like notice the difference and even if it like doesn't do anything like on the shorter term if you keep doing it over and over you'll see improvement in your aim for sure like for sure because you'll you'll just force yourself to hit the head every time over and over and over you'll learn how to hit your headshots you'll get better at it and yeah that's basically uh the end of the video and guys please don't forget to like subscribe leave a like it would really help me out you know I would, i'd really appreciate it and i'll see you guys the next time peace